a lot of people are having problem in getting more and stable FPS in Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 and in this video I'm gonna show you the best tool by using that you can boost your FPS, fix FPS drops and get stable frames in your Warzone with your any low-end PC or laptop. So guys welcome to my channel and if it's your first time here so please subscribe drop a like on this video and also make sure to avoid this complete video so let's go straight into over to this video. So guys in the first step you need to download this fps optimization pack on your pc link available down in the description open up the link from description and download this zip file on your pc once you download it now you need to drag this folder on your desktop and now you need to follow exactly every single guide which i'm going to show you to do so first open up this folder and here you will find out these three files first here is our registry fix and then here is the executor or the tool which is the one of the best on the pc for optimization so first open up this registry fix folder and install all of these registry file which is the disable gpu energy driver disable network throttling fix monitor latency and gpu tweaks you need to double tap here click yes click ok and install all these file one by one on your pc so once you install all of these registry files on your PC, now you need to go back into the main directory and here is our Xtbox 1.9 latest version tool. Now you need to double tap here and run this application on your PC. Once you run, so it will ask you first time for the permission, so you need to press the Y from your keyboard and then it will allow you to run this software. Now you need to just wait for the installation of the software on your PC. And here you will go to this kind of the interface of this tool. So first here we will go over dblot applications, then tweaks, then apps, and here is our cleaning software. Now what you need to do, you need to now follow exactly the same thing which I'm going to show you to do. So first here you need to install this shutup then on your PC and how you can do it, you need to press D letter and then type 3 from your keyboard and press enter. It will download and install Shutup 10 on your PC and it will also automatically launch this application. Once you got here this kind of interface of Shutup 10, now you need to go for this action option and click on the apply on the recommended settings. Then it will ask you for creating a register point. I suggest you to create a register point therefore you can revert it anytime whenever you want. But I am clicking on this no button and once you are done with the settings now close out this application and click ok. And now guys you need to download and install Azeroid optimizer on your PC. How you can do it? You need to now press D then type 15 and press enter and it will download and install Azeroid on your PC in few minutes. So guys here we got Azeroid optimizer on our PC and it will help us to optimizing our windows and increasing our FPS and decreasing our system latency. Simply click on this run optimizer button and it will start running this application it will optimize your whole pc all settings for the best performance for gaming so guys once it's complete now it will ask you for restarting your pc for applying all of this optimization but we will restart our pc later because we have to do some more tweaks so simply close out this close window and again open up this tool in front of you now you need to go into the second column which is the tweak section and here you need to now use the quick tweaks on your pc how you can do it simply press qt and press enter from your keyboard and here you will find out a quick tweak now what you need to do here you will find out settings for the optimize your ssd so you need to now press 3 and press enter and it will download this uh, ssd optimization and now click on this yes button click ok and install this registry file once you're done with it, now you need to go back into the uh, previous section. So press B from your keyboard and press enter and it will take you back into this main directory. Now go for this app section and there you will find out this memory cleaner. If you have Windows 10, so you can go with it because on Windows 11 memory cleaner is not working. So if you have Windows 10, so install the memory cleaner and clean your RAM. How you can do it? Simply press A9 from your keyboard and press enter and it will download and open up the memory cleaner on your PC. So once you're done with this step also, now you need to go for the last section which is the cleaning or the antiviruses. So you need to download the AW, ADW cleaner on your PC and how you can do it? You need to press C1 and press enter from your keyboard and it will download this AW cleaner on your PC. 
So guys, here you will got this kind of the interface of the malware byte aw adw cleaner and how you can use is you need to click on to this scan now button and it will start scanning your windows all the file and if you find any kind of defective item so here it will show you into the section because right now there is no any kind of the wires available on my pc so therefore there is no any defected file if you got any defected file you can simply remove that file but for me it is none so i'm simply closing out the malware byte it will help you improving your pc performance and reducing your ping and your input latency once you're done with this optimizer or this tool now you need to simply close out it so guys now in the next step you need to right click on your desktop on any empty space area and go straight into the display settings once you are here now you need to find out related settings option and go for the graphic settings once you are here you will find out here the whole bunch list of your all the application and the game installed on your pc now you need to add here call of duty warzone into this list you can go straight into the browse option go into the directory where you have installed your call of duty warzone so open up your this folder and here is the launcher file of the call of duty modern warfare or 2.0 click on this add button and add this game into this list once you add it here now you need to go for the option and set it onto the high performance hit save now you need to also go for the call of duty hq go for the option and set it onto the high performance for the maximum performance of your gpu once you're done with the settings now you need to go into the default settings and click on to the change default graphic settings and make sure to turn on the hardware accelerated gpu scheduling from this option and it will reduce your latency and improve your performance but you need to restart your pc after applying the settings so we will restart our pc later so now close out this window and now you need to go straight into the directory where you have installed your call of duty war zone so how you can do it you need to right click here go for the open file location and it will take you into this directory right click here go into the properties go for the compatibility and from here check mark onto the disable full screen optimization go for the change high dpi and also check mark onto the override high dpi scaling behavior hit ok hit apply and click ok and close out this window once you're done with the settings now guys simply you need to restart your pc one time then launch it back and enjoy the best performance out of your pc or laptop in call of duty warzone 2. so here is the gameplay after all the optimization of the call of duty on my pc movement. <laughs> 